Hi there. My name is Natasha Jonathan. I'm a crochet tutor at My Creative Butterfly where we transform strings to pretty things. I teach crochet through my courses, classes and patterns not just as a hobby but also as a tool that will help you focus and concentrate better in everything that you do. Welcome to my YouTube channel. From today, I'm starting with a series of 26 videos that is known as Beyond Basics A to Z Crochet Stitches. As the name suggests, I'll be doing 26 different videos in this series, which will contain intermediate to advanced level crochet stitches, starting from the letter A going till the letter Z. So do subscribe to the channel and hit that notification symbol so that you never miss out a new video that comes out. And once I'm done with all these 26 videos, you'll find all of them under a single playlist that will be known as Beyond Basics. So let's start with the tutorial. So today is day 6 of Beyond Basics A to Z Crochet Stitches. Today we are on the alphabet F and we are doing the feather stitch for today. It is a beautiful textured stitch that resembles feathers of a bird. It is a nice and patty stitch that can be used to make trivets and hot mats and pot holders and such. Uh, but you must not confine yourself to only these projects. Use your creativity and use this stitch in as many projects as you want. It is also a perfect stitch for making afghans or blankets that will be very warm and nice in those chilly cold winters. And also you can use this for making cushions or other type of home decors. So use your creativity and make different projects with this. So I am using a yarn with a suitable hook size. You can choose a yarn depending upon the project that you want to do. So we'll start with a base chain of 21. I am doing 21. You have to do a multiples of 2 plus 1. That is you need to make odd number of chains. So for this swatch, I am doing 21 chains. Make sure that the chains are nice and even. They should not be very tight. Otherwise, your starting end will be narrower. So they should be nice and loose. Not very loose. They should not be untidy. Now, once we are done with 21 chains, go in the I'm sorry go in the fourth chain from the hook and do a half double crochet now the first row is a row of half double crochet so we are just going to do half double crochets in each stitch across so we had 21 chains and we are doing the half double crochet from the fourth chain so you'll have a total number of 18 stitches Keep doing half double crochets in each stitch across. This will be your first foundation row for starting the feather stitch. We'll have 18 half double crochets and the turning chain will be counted as one stitch. So total you'll have 19 stitches. So done with the last half double crochet. So this is your first foundation row. Now let us do the second row for doing that. Turn the work uh, and make one turning chain. Make one turning chain for starting row 2. We will not count this as a stitch. Do a half double crochet at the base of the turning chain. Do a chain 1. Skip one stitch. Do a half double crochet in the next stitch. So this entire row will be done like this. We are going to do one half double crochet, chain 1. Skip one stitch and a half double crochet in the next stitch. Again a chain 1. Skip the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch. Keep doing that for the entire row. And you will be done with row 2. This is the second foundation row for making the feather stitch. 
half double crochets in every alternate stitch with a chain one in between so half double crochet chain one skip one stitch and a half double crochet in the next stitch again chain one skip one stitch half double crochet in the next stitch for the last one do a chain one and a half double crochet on the top of the turning chain so this completes your row two now these two rows will be used for working the feather stitch now do a chain one and turn your work again and start with a feather stitch so do a yarn over insert the hook in the first gap pull up a loop do a yarn over again this time insert the hook in the half double crochet of row one see how i am doing it pull up a loop again make sure that all the loops are the same height so extend them do a yarn over again insert the hook in the next chain one gap pull up a loop again now you have a total of seven loops on your hook do a yarn over and pull through all the seven loops now do a chain one to close all the stitches so this is your first feather stitch now again do a yarn over insert the hook in the same chain one space pull up the loop extend it again do a yarn over insert the hook at the base that is in the half double crochet of row one pull up a loop again extend it do a yarn over again insert the hook in the next chain one space pull up a loop again extend it do a yarn over and pull through all the seven loops on the hook so you can see we have seven loops on the hook do a yarn over every feather stitch will have seven loops do a yarn over and pull through all the seven loops in one go do a chain one to complete the stitch this is your second feather stitch keep repeating this all the way across for the entire row so yarn over insert the hook in the same chain one space yarn over again insert the hook in the base that is in the half double crochet of row one yarn over again insert the hook in the next chain one space pull up a loop extend the loops yarn over and pull through all the loops do a chain one keep repeating this till the end of this row
so here is the last feather stitch for this row do a chain one now i'll not do one more feather stitch i'll just do a half double crochet in the turning chain here just do a half double crochet here and you'll be done with your uh, row three this is our first row of feather stitches now we'll turn the work and this row four will be repeated all the way across to create the pattern now turn your work for doing the row four this is your first row of feather stitches do a chain one turn your work do a half double crochet half double crochet at the base of your chain one now we'll start with the feather stitches watch this carefully because you are going to repeat this all the way yarn over insert the hook in this first gap pull up a loop yarn over again insert the hook in the gap below pull up a loop again extend the loop do a yarn over again and we'll i'll show that to you one more time do a yarn over insert the hook in the first top chain one gap here and then one here below and the third one will be here so yarn over insert the hook in the first chain one gap top one pull up a loop do a yarn over again go in the gap below pull up a loop again do a yarn over and insert the hook in between the two feather stitches the gap the chain one gap pull up a loop again now do a yarn over and pull through all the seven loops now do a chain one to finish your first feather stitch of this row now do a yarn over insert the hook in the same place as we did for the previous loop pull up a loop do a yarn over again insert the hook in the gap below you can see this gap here insert the hook in this pull up a loop again extend it do a yarn over again insert the hook in the chain one gap between the next feather stitch pull up a loop again now you have seven loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the seven loops in one go do a chain one again this is your second feather stitch just keep on repeating this all the way across and keep repeating row four over and over again till you reach the length for whatever project you are doing So I'll just show you a few more uh, repeats in a slow pace so that you can understand what I'm doing. Now pull through all the seven loops in one go. That's it. Do a chain one. So this is your third feather stitch for this row. So for creating the pattern, you will keep on repeating row 4 again and again as many times as required to reach the length. Again, this is also a textured stitch as I mentioned in my previous videos. That one was also a textured stitch. So if you want to make a, a stitch sampler, afghan or cushion, you can use most of the stitches from this Beyond Basics uh, A to Z crochet stitch series. This one can easily be combined with the mini bean or the Elizabeth stitch that we did last uh, Wednesday. So you can go to the Beyond Basics playlist and see all the stitches that we have done. Combine those stitches and make as many projects as you want. But do practice this. It is a slightly complicated stitch, but you will get it with practice. So be patient with it.
so this is the last feather stitch to a chain one now do a half double crochet in the turning chain we'll always end the row with a half double crochet so there you go we are done with row four now just keep on repeating this row again and again till you get the total height for the project that you are making so here is the complete swatch i have ended the pattern with a half double crochet row as you can see that it gives it a nice finished edge if you want you can do that or if you want you can avoid it if you are making a stitch sampler you will obviously start with the other stitch pattern there so this is it again a reminder you will find all the 26 stitches of this beyond basics a to z crochet stitches series in the beyond basic playlist i have provided a link to the playlist in the description feel free to click and check out all the 26 stitches that we did i hope that you enjoyed the tutorial happy crocheting bye bye